Felix, thank you so much for making time with me. And wow, I got to say right off the top, thank you so much for what we're going to talk about this amazing exhibit. Because considering what Toronto and the rest of the world has been going through with COVID, uh, COVID-19 and, you know, it's just been a tough time. To have something like this for us, I think, is absolutely amazing. For folks who don't know what I'm talking about, something world premiere here in Toronto at the uh, Metro Toronto Convention Center. And it is, I could say, pure art. What is it exactly, Sarah? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, it's, it's a great pleasure to be able to see people coming together into a, a, a venue like after uh, all that happened that year. So uh, Beyond Monet is, uh, is an exper- immersive experience that kind of show all the artworks of Claude Monet, but in a, in a digital and magnified way. When you say that, though, people should really understand because really the experience is, it's not like going to a museum where you see those great paintings. You actually feel like you're walking through or you're part of the art. Exactly, yeah. We, we wanted to differentiate ourselves from the museum because the museum, they have this kind of aura around the painting that we cannot have with digital. So what we did is we, we tried to, to magnify and immerse the people and surround the people into this kind of um, amplified version of Claude Monet's artwork. So we did animation, we did uh, sequencing, we did set design that is kind of taking yourself into a journey into Monet's artwork. Who is the French artist for folks who may not know? Who is he exactly? We kind of know him from like coffee mugs and pillows because we kind of, everybody knows his artwork, but we don't really know who is he and what was his his character. And I think the experience really wants to, to show this kind of revolutionary artist that he was in his time so he's kind of the father of the impressionist board movement and a lot of people say that he was kind of the father of the abstraction movement as well so we really want to acknowledge that in the experience to see how much he has bring to the art world and to everyday life to show this kind of beauty in a very unique sense now sense you just said that word which is very important to my next question the senses what senses are we going to be able to to collect for ourselves because from what I understand it's it's not what you see it's also what you hear too exactly and we we wanted to have every sense at its maximum so we we have the visual sense that is so much uh, stimulated but we we created also uh, original music to kind of interlace every artwork with the emotion that Monet kind of wanted to to represent in this in this art so Everything is so interlaced with, uh, is it like perspective, uh, set design, uh, visual imagery, animation, music, then you have some wind at some point, you have lighting. So everything is kind of put together to create this kind of, yeah, surreal uh, presence. There's a reason why it's at the convention center because convention center is big. Yes. This is big. Yes. It's, it's, it's really big. It's, it's made of two oval rooms that we we were inspired by a, a museum in Paris that Monet uh, architectured himself with a, when an architect. So he really designed it to create one of the first immersive experience uh, we, we could say. So those two oval shaped rooms represent the sense of the infinity, and we kind of wanted to have that, but in a in a much more bigger venue. So we have. Uh, those two oval shaped room and then we have a roof as well so convention center was kind of the best place to 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 put together those immense room you know when i was checking for tickets and man they're selling out fast every day so wow what an experience so people should realize though when they do go though we're still in the uh covid stage so masks still need to be worn when they're inside correct correct yes Yes, you have to wear masks, but there's a lot of space, so you can really be in in your bubble, but you can be with with the person you love as well. So, it's it's a great way to to re-enter into the the cultural world in this, yeah, in the big state. Absolutely. What do you hope folks get from this experience? Uh, I, 
I really like the fact that Monet was trying to to represent his feeling. He was not trying to to get this kind of fake perfection that all the artists before him were were trying to do. He was into the instant moment. He was into this quest for beauty, this quest for for this this kind of intangible uh, beauty that is in between what's real and what what he feels. So I think when you go there, you kind of want to get immersed into that feeling of of yeah of uh, of beauty. You know, people always talk about you know what it's like to have dreams. This is gonna be the first time people are gonna be able to walk through a dream and be absolutely awake. So congratulations on this. Thank, Thank you, you so much for you and your group to bring this to Toronto. I know a lot of folks are looking forward to this. And uh, again, thank you because we needed this, uh, you know, during this tough time. Thank you again, my friend, for the interview. Thank you so much.